We are back on the Morning Brew with friends. We're having a blast. Thanks, Noms. You guys are it's so much fun to have you guys in this morning, right? It's it's great to have kind of a band to help us out here in the mornings. It's so much fun. I feel like you know it's like a late night talk show in the morning now. And we we got Jen and Jess from the Mother Road Theater Company. This is awesome. You guys got a new show coming up. We do Enchanted April. We open next Friday. And yeah. So and tell us a little bit about this show first of all. Well, it's basically about um, these London housewives and uh, some other women in uh, 1922 who well, decide... Hold on two seconds. Does that mean you have to do the London accent? Yes. Okay, we got to do the whole interview in that. <laughs> All right. We Should we? Oh, really? Right. You can? Oh, okay. Awesome. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> she plays one of the London housewives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I play a London socialite. And we decide to go to Italy for a month to sort of refresh our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we do that and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And Act 1 is in London, in dreary, rainy London. Mm -hmm. And then Act 2, we all find love in, in Italy. Yes. And in Act 3? There is no new spoilers. Act 3. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> no spoilers. <laughs> no <laughs> So how do you learn to do the accents? I, I, I'm the worst at any kind of accent. Um, I learned mine in college. Yeah. I did it. We did British plays in college, and I did this. And then we have a dialect coach who mm -hmm. comes to all rehearsals. Steve and Corona, he's yes. amazing. And he yells Bert. at us when we yes. do things wrong. Is he is he a Brit himself? No. No, no. but he just has the ear for it. Yes. yes. That's yeah. very cool. That is very cool. So the new show is it a new space? It is. It's at the Keshet Center for the Arts. Oh, the incubator. Yes, I yes, love yes. that space. They, they haven't had many shows there yet. No, this is the first theater. Is it really production. the first one? Yes. That's cool. And this is five years in the making that Mother Road <coughs> is joining Keshet's incubator because we joined them on paper, but we mm -hmm. haven't actually performed with them. So it's very exciting. That's for us. cool because yeah. the incubator, for those that don't know, it's up near uh, the pavilions of San Mateo. And it's, it's a cool spot that the folks at Keshet just got a million dollar grant from the Economic Development Association to build. And it is the arts incubator in the city. So we, we talk a lot on the show about the business incubators and the you know the Bioscience Center and Fat Pipe and uh, the Verge building and all of the spaces downtown. But this is one that's specifically for arts organizations. How, wh how have you guys been working with them? Because I think it's a cool idea. Is it working? Is it so far? So far it's, it's working. Not, yes. yeah? yeah. And what are you guys learning a lot about business there? Are you guys finding that the business side of things is... Um, as far as Mother Road goes, they, they do have their workshops and we've attended those and, mm -hmm. and learned some things and, and worked with them. It's just a constant learning process. My that's accent's cool. going in and out, I apologize. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. It's early. It is <laughs> <quite> early. <laughs> the, um, so I know they have that big black box theater there. Is that where you guys are going to yes, be? Yes, we're in the big sound stage. It's huge. It's a cool room, too. It is. It's amazing. So do you set that up like a proscenium, or you set it up like in the round? How are you setting that up? We proscenium. have, it's a proscenium, yep. So we just have our, our set sort of uh, standing upright, and then mm -hmm. the, the proscenium seats right there. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I like that new space. Mm -hmm. So it, it can't be easy, though, to be the first ones ever to set up something there. Probably a, a steep learning curve and trying to figure out. It's Absolutely. definitely a lot of hard work. Yeah. Yes. We have some amazing people working on it. Yes, yeah. but it's a, a lot of, of hard work in a very short amount of time. Right. So how did you guys come to this play? <laughs> um, our artistic director, we actually had another play in mind, but another theater snatched it up, which happens in this town. Mm -hmm. So our artistic director and um, our managing director knew it. Um, it was a movie in 1990, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Um, the name rings a bell. Yeah, a, a movie and uh, a, a book a long time ago, and, and it just sort of crossed their mind as something lovely. And, and the theme of our season is love wins, and this show very much is about love winning. Yes. Very cool. So, yes. it's, it's, so is it a romantic comedy kind of a thing? Is it a date night kind of a thing? Oh, I would say definitely. Definitely a date it's, night. It's yeah. very happy. Yeah. It yeah. is. It's very positive. Very, yeah, mm. very positive mm -hmm. and, and uh, just beautiful and, and just full of love. I love it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. The, uh, so do you guys, do your characters find love in the, sh in the show, or do you they encourage love? They find love, love? They re Yes, love. she refines love, yes. I find love. It's, the, yes, everyone finds love in some capacity. It's not always romantic love, but there's right. lots of love blooming. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I know Mother wrote it kind of has a different take on a lot of theater stuff than other mm -hmm. theater groups in town. You guys talk a little bit about that. Because you, you guys came from a different kind of perspective, and you guys have been at the... Uh, you guys don't have like a theater home, like right. Albuquerque Little our, Theater. Our you guys kind of right. roam around and find mm -hmm. spaces, right? Right, and this is sort of our first year of having a home, which is why right. it's so exciting for, for us. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're very excited. I mean, we this show, I have to say, is, is more on the traditional side Definitely. of Mother Road. I know yes. our last show, Penelope Ad, which we were both a part of, we were <coughs> flying in the air and doing all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, you know, this, this is much more a traditional take, and it's exciting. It's one of the biggest sets we've ever had. 
Exactly. A lot of period costumes. Well, you finally have room for a big Saturday. Yes. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Which is what's so exciting. Yeah, when, most of the small little theaters in town don't even have this kind of space. It's right. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that lucky. hard? Is that is it easier or harder for an actor to work on a bigger, smaller space? It's a different it's experience. It's just different, yes. Mm. Black Box is much more like film where you're, you're, you're smaller and intimate. you're much more intimate. Yes. Right. And Albuquerque, the, the, the face, theater, you're, right. you're big and bold. Right. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the little rooms, you got to worry about your, your facial expressions and, right. and all the subtle little cues, right? Right. And then in these things, in, in the larger stages, you get to be... Very big. Right. Yes. 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 Is that more fun? On it's stage. just different. I mean, yeah. there's, you know, it's nice when it's very intimate and you and you really feel it, and then it's nice to have a big audience that you're kind of having a dialogue with. So right. yeah. both are wonderful. Very cool. So how would I do the accent? I mean, when, if if <laughs> how would I learn to do this? Is it just rounding off all? How about? do you get to Carnegie Hall? I drive. <laughs> I fly. <laughs> I walk. You practice, practice, practice. Oh, practice, practice, lovely, practice. lovely. <laughs> Go online, yeah. listen to videos, just practice all yeah. the time. Just talk like this. Just mm -hmm. once just you start practicing, I'll do it at home and just talk. Just talk like I could talk to my dog, and <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. The show is going to be September uh, 25th through October 11th. Mm -hmm. It's at the Keshet Center for the Arts, and you can get tickets at Mother Road. Uh, is it motherroad.com? Dot org. Dot org. Of course yes. it is. And I love having the noms on. It's so great to have a band to just kind of play and hang out with. We'll be back in a couple of seconds with the morning brew. Very few signs and symptoms of prostate cancer. Prostate is a cancer that can be eliminated if you have early detection. My advice is to have a doctor in your life that you can trust and count on. Go talk to a doctor. It could save your life. Get screened today. Call now or log on to mdformen.com.